Mobile County Sheriff Paul Birch calls the deaths of two young children in Sims brutal murders. The children and their mother found dead today inside their home. WKRG News 5 Shimani Baker was in Sims much of the day and joins us now in the studio. Shimani, it seems this family originally from Utah may have had some real issues going on here. Yeah, unfortunately, in these court filings, it shows the two were going through a divorce. The mom filed first in April, but the divorce was dismissed in June, citing they decided to work things through and go to marriage counseling. Then the husband filed in August, the start to a slippery slope for this family. A Thursday afternoon turned deadly in a Sims neighborhood that folks would say is normally quiet. It's very shocking. It's very sad that something happened like that. It's just not, uh, it doesn't feel like it's the place for that. A family from Utah recently moved into a home on Evergreen Court. Thursday, three people were found dead in that home. Two young children, two-year-old Jacob Johnson and five-year-old Mia Johnson. It's pretty apparent you know, how the children died and their mother, 37-year-old Nancy Johnson. What we do know is that three were not shot. We won't know the full extent of her injuries until you know we get to forensics and an autopsy is conducted. It's, it's definitely not a typical homicide scene. Um, it, it is more, more brutal than uh, normal, uh, than no, that what we normally see. So yeah, it's, uh, it, it definitely, uh, test your character when you say something like this. But according to police, this wasn't the first disturbance from this home on Evergreen Court. Sims police say in the last few months, they've been called out to the home by both Nancy and her husband, Derek Johnson, between six to eight times. From harassment to uh, physical. I do know DHR was involved in, in some of the, I guess, filings and, and I guess domestic type situations. And, and, you know, that has been, you know, We've been made aware that there's some possibility of, of some mental instability. Chief Friend told News 5 a protection from abuse order was in place for Derek in Utah. WKRG did some digging and we found that Derek was arrested on September 17th for violating a protection order. In court filings, it states Derek forced his way into the family home that was once shared by them both and attacked Nancy. Two days later, Nancy requested that the court award her temporary custody, child support and exclusive use to their home. Officials say Derek was the one that called 911, stayed on scene, and was questioned. We are told he is cooperating with law enforcement. No arrests have been made. Live in studio, Shimani Baker, WKRG News 5.